Ah, sweet. Russia's female mascot is fucking Davy Crockett. That shit's hot. Fix my options there. Yeah, fuck it. This is, uh... It's fucking Nintendo World Cup soccer. Uh, oh, fuck. Playing America. Not because I'm a patriot. I mean, I am a patriot, but it's, I'm not playing America because I'm a patriot. It's because they suck in this fucking game. They fucking... They're terrible. They're a terrible team in Nintendo World Cup soccer. But so is Russia, so I figured I'd make it even. And, uh, you know, whoop their ass anyway. Make it a fair fight and fucking demonic Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumbers over here trying to guard me, but I fucking kick shit in. I don't know, video games I think got easier from, uh, from the 80s or 90s to, uh, to now. I don't know, I fucking like, what the fuck? And, uh, I don't know, I just remember this being a lot harder, but uh, I remember just, like, the thing about these games... Newer games don't, I mean, you know, there's a lot that goes into them, but I think these older games still uh, still hold a, a place in our hearts, not just because of the nostalgia factor and whatnot, because this is what we played when we were young, but I, the games back then had a lot of charm, I think, just in one way or another, and, you know, this is what happened, but, I mean, back then, I didn't know how to fuck the score goal without doing, you know, a, some kind of fucking super kick. Well, at, a, at some point, I don't know when it was, I figured out, you, you can fucking score goals pretty easy in this fucking game. But anyway, I don't know. So I'm playing as America, you know, because they suck in this game, and figured I'd make it fair. That, and I've been making fun of other nationalities all goddamn day, so I figured I'd even it up a little bit, you know. I don't really know any good, I mean, I know some good American stereotypes, but they don't really fit uh, uh, in this. I don't, I don't know what to... Anyway... Fucking dude got a fucking emo haircut. I don't understand some of the haircuts in this fucking game. That I never got. I mean, the main guy is all. All the characters are based on some other Japanese thing. Uh, River City Ransom. It's all the same character sprites. I, I just some of the hairstyles never. You know, spikes over here. All right, I get it. You know, eighties, whatever. But like, you know, the the bangs. My my left my left offense. I don't. Know. It looks all emo and shit. Uh, I guess they didn't have that back then, so it didn't matter. I don't know what the fuck am I doing with my life. I don't. Know. I think I think I'm gonna start. I'm I'm gonna open a porn shop, but not just like any porn shop. You know, like like some kind of used sex toy shop or something like. I mean, think about that for a minute. That might that could be that could be a good idea. You know, like you start off your base inventory is. Like, some kind of, yeah, I mean, just, just shit that people donated to you, you know? And they, uh, you just, you sell, but, I mean, like, people come in, it's like a pawn shop, almost. They pay, they pay, you know, uh, you pay them bottom dollar for, for their used sex toys. And, uh, I think it would work, because what you do when you, when you buy someone's sex toys from them, you don't just buy their sex toys, you, you ask them, to fill out this form, right? You fill they fill out a form and it and it has like all kinds of different, you know, information, kind of personal information, but not too personal, like their first name, sure, but like, you know, ethnicity, nationality, age, height, weight, you know, body type, stuff like that. You know, not too personal, but, you know, physical information. And then you go and you put that shit on the shelf, you know? So let's say some fucking pervert rolls up in here looking for a uh, looking for a dildo and he say, he says, "Sir, I am looking. I'm, I got a sick fetish, and I want a. Uh, I want a dildo that was used by a 19-year-old uh, Asian girl. And he said, "Motherfucker, I got just what you need. You know, like it's perfect. You know, they, and you got the, uh, you know, all the, all the, all the toys on the shelf or uh, shelves are labeled. You know, they got everything, all the stats of all the girls that donated that shit, and it's perfect." I don't know, I think that'd be a pretty good idea. But, like, most of my ideas that I come up with, this crazy shit that I come up with, is usually already, you know, done, you know? like, And it's not just me, it's my friends, too, you know? like Chris, Remember that time Chris came up with that idea about a dating site where it's it's for uh, people that have uh, AIDS? Because he said, you know, I mean, it makes sense, right? What are they going to do, give each other more AIDS, you know? Fucking A. But as it turns out, as soon as I asked the internet, uh, internet said, bitch, I already came up with something like that twice, actually. Uh, there's like at least two sites that are, and I, what the fuck am I doing there? I kick a fucking super shot the wrong way and my goalie still catches it. 
And then fucking Spikes over here fucking puts down his Hot Pocket, helps me out. A little assist goal action. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. And fucking demonic goalie over here. What the fuck? That guy looks pissed at all times. And then he passes it to a fucking dead guy. Uh, some of these games, they didn't make too much. much <laughs> they didn't make much sense, but they had a they had a lot of charm to them, and I think that's why we used to love them, and why we still love them. I think these games are still loved by many people because of just the charm. There's a charm factor. It's more than just nostalgia. It's things like demonic goalie and right defense played by Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber. I mean, look at that guy. He looks just like fucking Jim Carrey. Oh, and I kicked the shit out of him right there. I don't know why the fuck I did that. I'm kind of an asshole. One of my guys is dead up in front. I don't know. What the fuck? Pretty close game, though. 10-0. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I managed to pull through this one. Even with uh, the American team. Spikes looking all pussified and still... I don't know. Just certain things about these games didn't really make sense. This asshole. Well, he changes his mind. He doesn't want to block me anymore. I don't know. But these ideas I get, you know, they're already taken. You know, it's it's, it's tragic. There's nothing... There's no such thing as originality anymore. Everyone wants to fucking super kick balls into the goal. Uh, <laughs> this used to be the only way I knew how to score a fucking goal when I was little was was shoot the fucking ball, or do a little flip kick. Apparently it's easier than that. I didn't know that. But anyway, I don't know. These fucking Russian teams. It was, it was pretty bad when I was playing against Mexico and France. Those were some pretty bad jokes. I kind of feel bad about them still, but... Oh, shit. And it's appropriate that I'm playing against, you know, Russia, because been been, uh... And having a little bit of Stoli all night. And then this asshole passing the fucking ball back to defense, back to Mohawk. I don't know what the fuck's going on really in this fucking game. I'm just kind of talking about it. I don't know where the fucking sound is. Get it passed back, yeah. And somehow it gets teleport kicked into the fucking goal. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck's going on. This shit's retarded. Fucking spikes, and I'm just humping the fucking ground because I know there's nowhere we, we could possibly fucking lose. We probably could have scored one more goal there if I wasn't being a jackass, but it looks like I'm fucking done there. I don't even know what happened.